Hello everyone, I am of course John Doe, and we're going to do another Ghost Letters report. Again, I'm outside. It is summertime here in Japan, so hey, why not be outside as much as possible? What we're going to talk about today is this ongoing thing of Shinzo Abe and his fascist-led type of government, and the current thing he's trying to push through. It's been going on for quite some time now and has been an agenda, agenda of his for a long time. Even before his first tenure as Prime Minister of Japan and throughout the history of the LDP in general, they've always been pushing to re, fully remilitarize Japan. Now that's a very unique position to take considering that Japan is one of the few bourgeois, the bourgeois class in Japan is one of the few cla bourgeois classes globally which are truly had, for lack of a better word, bitch slapped, epically. Now of course we know pre-post-war Japan, Japan was a very fascist country and went on an imperialist campaign to conquer many countries in Asia. Well that didn't work out very well, it didn't work out very well at all and post-war Japan, the American occupation, like the constitution that came from that, barred Japan in the, with their constitutional construction to uh, engage in aggressive war. Now, Japan does have a military, quite large one and very advanced, but it can only be used for self-defense. They cannot aggressively attack anyone. Now, Japan's post-war military called the Special Defense Force has been deployed overseas several times but it's only been in a supportive role like supply chains or to help with um, so-called humanitarian efforts and they can arm themselves but they cannot attack anyone unless they are fired upon and no one can do it in self-defense. Well, Shinzo Abe would like to change all that. I've done videos on this on the past with the remilitarized Japan and all that they want to go with this thing called collective defense. Collective defense is the idea that you can jump in and help another country fight a war. Now we of course know why there's so much pressure in Japan to do this. It's coming from the Americans imperialist. They want Japan to be able to fight in wars and back them up and be kind of uh, America's attack dog in Asia. Of course! Now, Shinzo Abe and his fascist government have been pushing for this for quite some time. Like I've said earlier, they ran to a recent snag. They have a coalition government, actually. The LDP New Komito. Now, New Komito is kind of a religious party. And they're very anti-war. So they don't want to agree to this. And without the full support of the coalition partner, New Komito, they can't, LDP and fascist Abe and his cronies, cannot push through this constitutional revision to re fully remilitarize and jump in in other wars and be America's attack dog. That's very telling. It shows that even among the bourgeois, they're not unified with each other. They have, they know better, especially New Comito, they know better and to remilitarize Japan, they know what would happen due to Japan's history. Do the, and that what they're not aware of is that it's the bourgeois class in Japan that is truly dangerous. If you give them the power to collect a defense or an aggressive war, I think it's pretty clear what will happen. Look at the, how the bourgeois in Japan speak, how they talk, how they behave. They want to create some war. They want to bomb people into submission to get what they want. And use the excuse of collective defense where they can coordinate with other imperialist countries to go on, you know, these wars of providing democracy or all that bullshit. That's what these people want to get in on the action. So I thought I'd mention this, give you just a little update 
on this situation in Japan that LDP has run into a snag of the coalition partner. We'll see how this all works out, huh? Let's hope for the best, but prepare for the worst. If it's the first time you've seen me, hey, give a subscribe. Too easy. Link right here somewhere. Check out these. Check out all these type of videos, and plus, from time to time, a few surprises. So until next time, this is me, John Doe, in Tokyo. Checking out.